in this lesson, we are going to discuss all about suspensions. Some substances do not dissolve completely in solvents. The particles that do not dissolve settle down at the bottom of the container. Example is the mixture of soil and water. You can observe that particles settle down at the bottom of the glass. The soil does not fully dissolve in water. So, when we leave the mixture for some time, you will notice that the sand settle at the bottom of the container. The particles that do not spread evenly unlike in a solution. The mixture is called suspension. Suspension is a heterogeneous mixture which has particles that do not completely dissolve and settle at the bottom. Some insoluble solids, such as flour, seem to make the water appear cloudy. When the insoluble solid is spread throughout the liquid and settle down at the bottom of the container, it is called a suspension. What are the properties of a suspension? Let's have a virtual experiment. Did the chalk powder completely dissolve in water? What happened to the undissolved chalk powder? Let us now identify the different properties of a suspension. A suspension is a heterogeneous mixture. The size of solute particles in a suspension is quite large. Usually, it is larger than 100 mm in diameter. The particles of a suspension can be seen easily. The particles are visible and recognizable in a suspension. The particles of a suspension pass through a filter paper, so a suspension can be separated by filtration. You can filter the small particles of chalk powder that do not dissolve. The suspension is unstable. The particles of a suspension settle down after some time. A suspension scatters a beam of light passing through it because of its large particle size. As you see on the illustration, the particles was unstable but the light scatters because of the undissolved chalk powder unlike in a solution that the light directly passed the mixture. Example, a chocolate drink is made up of a cocoa powder, milk, and sweetener dissolved in water. However, when chocolate drink is left for some time, some of the solutes end up settling at the bottom of the glass. This is because the cocoa powder does not really fully dissolve in water. The fine solid particles just float 
or are suspended in the water. Since the cocoa particles are very light, it takes time for them to sink. The chocolate drink is a suspension. Some medicine for children like antibiotics are sold as suspensions. This is because children cannot yet swallow capsules or tablets. They are sold as powder in bottles. Water has to be added into it and the resulting mixture has to be shaken well. Other examples of suspensions is flour in water, gravel in water, mud in water.